Traders War Room wants to thank the viewer for the continued support on this journey. Please make sure you check out the description as there's information links on topics covered within this video. Thank you. What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, the market was nuts today, okay? And we're going to talk all about it in this video and I got a lot of questions. CCIB, CLSN, you know, what happened, this and that, you know, SPAC mergers, bad or good. And we're going to talk about them in this video and everything. Listen, I need you to like, I need you to share, I need you to subscribe, and I need you to follow us on this journey, become part of the team, become part of the community, okay? Check the description out. I got all my resources down there. I got a lot of information there that can help you make you a better trader today than you were yesterday. And as always, if you're ready, follow me and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind the viewer that all content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. Everyone is responsible for their own decisions within the stock market. Thank you. Welcome back team, as always, to our new members and subscribers to the channel. Thank you for joining the team and being part of this community. Listen, Facebook's growing strong, over 250 now. Discord's popping off, Twitter's popping off, YouTube channel's going off, okay? We're making some big moves and we're doing some great things and it's all because of you and I wanna thank you for coming with us on this journey. Next thing I wanna talk about before we get into it is I wanna say we had the logo challenge that was out. I put out three different logos that were gonna be the first branded TWR logo that we have on our channel and on our Facebook group and all on our swag that I'm gonna create and everything like this. And we have a definite winner. And here's the winner for you right now. And here it is, the winner. This is our logo and I couldn't be prouder. I like it, has the bull, that's what we are. We're attacking, we're destroying, and we're conquering this market. Let's get it. Not too bad, I like that one. In fact, to be 100% transparent, my wife helped me set that one up. She liked it too, so it's a good one. Congratulations to the ones that voted on that one. And you know what, it's gonna go on everything TWR that we have, okay? This is just the first of many, and I plan on having a lot more of these type of things coming at it where we vote as a team and as a community on certain things, okay? Because it, it went great, okay? And I liked it a lot. First and foremost, we're gonna get into it. Got a lot of questions today about CCIV, what happened? All right, well, we have to talk about the difference between rumor and news, okay? This is a classic design of buying a rumor, selling the news. And I'm gonna show you on a chart and we're gonna talk through it, what, in my opinion, happened with Lucid Motors. So let's first go out to the five day and look at it. So. We saw hitting around 36.52 on the 16th of February. Rumor came of the merger being inked and started shooting up and it kept going up and up and up and you see it dipping and going up and dipping. And then finally, you saw a big dip on Friday as people were selling off for the weekend and then you saw it rising back up and then you see that big tank today after the merger came out in after hours. So let's talk about why the big tank after the merger news came out. Well, like I said, buy the rumor, sell the news. So a lot of these people, the news came out and they took the opportunity, secured the profits and just sold out, okay? Now, what I see happening, and of course I'm not a mind reader and I don't have a crystal ball, but now at the price in there around $40, you're gonna see a lot of institutional players that now that a merger's inked, they're gonna start getting in because they wanna be part of this for the future. And since it's a done deal, they're gonna start throwing their money in and I see it recovering very nicely and I don't see it sitting around $40 for long at all. So part of this is also talking about fundamentals of stocks, okay? And I wanna get into a little bit of fundamentals, all right? Specifically about these SPACs and these mergers and how corporations kind of look at it, okay? So, when you got this merger going on with the SPAC and this company, okay, the, the SPAC and the company aren't definitive at this point, right? They're just in talks. It's bringing a lot of news. It's bringing a lot of gossip. It's bringing a lot of attention to it, okay? 
people are buying on that. They like the idea, they like the story, they can see the potential. So they're buying, okay? Now, what ends up happening is a lot of the bigger firms, the more conservative firms, or the ones that really wanna take a big stake, they're waiting, okay? They're not hopping in on something speculative, okay? They've been either a burned too many times or it's they know that the price is inflated because of the rumor, and so they're waiting for the actual merge because typically, especially with these SPACs, after the merge happens and ink is, ink is made on the deal, the SPACs do a pullback. And it's this sometimes it's a significant pullback. And we've seen this with CCIV, now Lucid Motors. We saw a pull from like 60 something all the way down to I saw high 30s, okay? And now it's sitting there around 40, all right? Perfectly normal. I'm not too concerned with it because I think Lucid Motors is gonna be something big and I'm in it for the long haul. And if I'm a betting man, which I kinda am on this stock because I own shares of this, I'm betting that this stock is gonna recover and it's going to recover fast. I wouldn't be surprised to see it back in the 50s, if not 60s, by the end of the week and possibly by the end of the year, sitting around 80s to 100, okay? Listen, I missed the boat on Tesla. I'm in Tesla now, but I got in in the hundreds, okay? I missed the boat on Tesla and I'm not gonna miss the boat on Lucid Motors, okay? I think this company's gonna be great. They already have a factory. They already got deals in the works and I think they're going to do great things. And so I'm in it for the long haul. And for me, this is a hold. All right, my shares are not going anywhere. I'm not selling and that's it. What I wanted to do is provide you with some other popular specs that are now public. We have Butterfly right now. So look at it before the merger, it shot up. Then the merger news came out, it was inked, it dipped, dipped a little bit and then dipped a lot. And now you see that it's close to above the point it was pre-merger news. This is Clover. Now some of you might know about the issue that Clover is having. There was a lot of hype around this spec. So it was sitting around 10 before the merger and it shot up to you know, 17, five, and then dipped. Now they got some issues going on with management, but it sounds as though the company is pretty solid and that they'll start making a recovery after they get this litigation out of the way. But this one is definitely a failure after the post-merge. So looking at this biotech stock right here, pre-merger, was riding high on that rumor mill. Merger news came, dropped significantly, and now it's on its process of recovering, making higher highs and higher lows on its way back up into the promised land. I want to talk real quick about CLS and okay, I put an alert out earlier today. They had great news about ovarian cancer drug that was being fast tracked, all right, by the FDA. You know, great news. And what do you see with this? You saw a pop in pre market and then the bell rang. And like most stocks, it just dropped, right, from a, from a high sitting around like 350, dropped all the way down to two something. And then it started just bouncing around up and down, up and down, up and down the whole day. Okay. So here's the chart of CLS and you see it pop the pre-market with the news goes all the way up to 350 then the bell rings opening up the market for the regular day and it just drops and you're seeing it bouncing around and you're seeing a pretty decent chart. I mean it's making higher highs and lower highs all the way until about the end of the day and then people just start taking profit and selling out because the price action wasn't right. Now I'm still in it. My stop loss didn't trigger, and my risk tolerance at this point is 250. If it hits 250 or below, I'm out, okay? And then I'll capture that loss with another gain, and then I'll come back into this at a different time. But I like the story of this stock. I think it has potential, and I'm hoping tomorrow brings more traction to the stock because I don't think it got the news and the respect it deserved today. That's it, guys. Done. Listen, we're going to get back at it again tomorrow. The market's going to open. People are going to rise and shine, and we're going to see what the cards are dealt tomorrow, okay? I want to remind you guys that uh, coming in March, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is with my uh, small cap watch list, and we're going to put out another poll on a Friday. We're going to go on the weekend, and we're going to pick one stock out of that out of the ones I put out there and I'm gonna drop a hundred dollars into them Monday and we're gonna go and we're gonna roll with it. And I'm not gonna pull it out, we're gonna ride with it. And then every week or every two weeks, depending on my financial situation, 
I'm gonna do the same thing and we're gonna add another hundred bucks into another penny stock and we're gonna try it and we're gonna put some rules out, but we're gonna ride these and see how they go. Because you know what? I'm living and I'm breathing and I tell you guys this all the time. And I'm, like I said, I'm trying to put my money where my mouth is because I truly look at the stock market like it's a war zone. Stocks and sectors, those are our battles. We do it together, we do it as a team, we attack, we destroy, and we conquer, all right? And now, as always, if you're ready, follow me and let's go to war.